Now that you have your background cut out, we're going to start in InDesign and instead of opening a picture, we're going to create a new file first. So I'm going to, in InDesign, go up to File, go to New, and then Document. And I'm going to leave all of these settings the same because my page size is already set to letter, so I know that's regular um, paper size, which is what we want for the magazine cover. For the bleed, I'm going to change this to 0.25, hit tab, and it adjusts the rest, then I'm going to hit OK. And this is going to open up my blank document. Getting started in this blank document, the first thing you want to do is place your background layer. Um, so I'm going to start out and call my first layer over here in the layers panel. I'm going to call that background, and I'm going to hit OK. I'm also going to add another layer on top of my background and I'm going to double click on that layer to change the name of it. I'm going to call this masthead. So this is where I want to put my title of the magazine, the masthead. And I'm going to add one more layer and I'm going to call this cutout. And I'm going to hit OK. So right now you should have three layers. On the very top layer, so this green one here, it's called cutout. The second layer, the one that I want in the middle, is the masthead. And the last one is background. So we're going to go through and place different things on all of these layers. So make sure that you have these um, called how uh, they are here, named how they are here, and then um, in the correct order. Starting out, I'm going to lock my masthead and my cutout layer. So I just want to concentrate on the background. I'm going to place a picture here. So I'm going to go to File and then Place. And the picture that you want to place is the original JPEG that you downloaded. So you don't want this cut out. You want the one that still has the purple, the really light purple background. So it's important that you are starting out with the picture with the background and not the cut out. Once you find that original JPEG that you downloaded, hit open and it's going to come up with something that looks like this. So now we have to place it. And I'm going to click where my bleed is, so that pink outline and drag all the way across my screen until it fills the frame. Now right now I have a little bit of space on the right side of my screen so in order to adjust that I need to adjust my frame so I'm going to click on my frame and drag that outside um, so now my frame goes off the edge of the page so I can click in the middle where the circle is to change the size of my picture now and if I click with two fingers, go to fitting, I can hit fill frame proportionately and that will stretch the page. Um, the other way, if you wanted to move your picture and frame at the same time, and I'm going to go back, but you can leave yours if you already did that step. Um, in order to change the picture and the frame at the same time, if you hold down command and shift at the same time, you can again adjust the size of your picture and frame together. Now since I want my masthead to fit at the top of the screen, I'm going to move my picture down just so that the top of my picture lines up with the top of my page. That way there's a little bit more space to add my title or the masthead. Um, now you'll also notice that your picture is blurry, so in order to change that quality of the image, you have to go to the top of your screen where it says View, down to Display Performance, and then go to High Quality Display. And that will automatically update your images that you place so that they are clear. The next thing that we are going to be um, doing and adjusting within your image is the cutout. We're going to put the cutout there. Um, that way, when we create the masthead or we create the title, it's going to be able to go on top of your cutout. So it's going to go on top of your uh, image with the uh, background still in the background. Um, what I'm going to do first is lock my background layer so we don't need to work with that yet. And I'm going to unlock my masthead. So we're going to move in order here and I'm going to go to this middle layer and add text. So on the left over here where your text box is, use that. And you can either copy and paste a masthead you already created for your magazine. I'm just going to, for mine, type in magazine. And I'm going to make it a little bit bigger so that it fills my screen so we can see um, the masthead cover this a little bit better. And right now you'll notice that the title is going on top of our picture. So we need to move on and add our cutout on this top layer. 
However, if I was to just place my cutout now that I have separately, um, so if I go, if I unlock this, don't do this step, but um, if I go to File and then Place, and if I directly place my cutout, you'll notice that it's not going to be the correct size. It will cover magazine how we want it to, but if I try and adjust this, it's going to be really difficult for me to make this the right size and line everything up. So what you need to do is go back to your background layer and we're going to copy this and paste it to our top layer so that we're going to have those two lined up perfectly. So to do that on your background layer, click on your background picture, make sure you're using your selection tool, and hit Command C on your keyboard to copy or you could go up to edit and copy. And then what we're gonna do is lock that background layer, go back up to your cutout layer, which should be on the very top, and we're gonna go to edit, paste in place. So not just paste, but paste in place. That way it lines everything up perfectly. Um, but you'll notice our masthead, the title, goes away because what we just pasted was that background layer that has our background picture. So, in order to line things up, what we have to do is relink this picture to the cutout so that it shows just the cutout image. In order to relink my pictures, what I'm going to do is make sure I have this cutout layer selected. I'm going to go to links, and then yours might look like this. Um, if it does, you should only have something that says model.jpg and that is the link for this picture. What we want to do is click this little arrow that will bring up two model.jpegs, and you're going to click with two fingers on your keyboard where it says the model.jpg, the second one. So I'm going to click on that second one and go to relink. Now I'm going to select my cutout.psd, and if I did it correctly, you'll be able to see magazine behind the cutout, with the background layer still in the background. So this is what your image should look like when you're finished, where you have your background, that purple, and then you have magazine, and then you have your cutout on the very top, and everything should be lined up correctly. The last step before you turn this in is to start adding some cover lines. So using your text here, you can start practicing, add a cover line, um, you can make up whatever you want for this. When you're finished, make sure you save it as a JPEG. So go to File, Export, make sure JPEG is the format, save it somewhere, and then upload it back to Classroom.